Hello and welcome back to another video. This is the first video of the series Loading Data into R. Uh, this will be a preliminary video where I will show you how to change your working directory. So in other words, how you can fix the errors that are displayed here. So for example, either error path does not exist or an error which says cannot open file such and such or uh, no such file or directory. A link to all the other videos about loading data into R where I also go more into detail uh, about the functions I used here, so read Excel or read CSV, uh, are now in the top right corner. So if you don't have the problem that is shown here, you can go straight there. Please also smash the subscribe button to make future videos possible and let's get started. So why does this error occur? Well, when you load a data file, so no matter if it's uh, an Excel file or a CSV file or an SPSS file, then this data is stored in a certain folder on your computer. And now you have to tell R in which folder it should search. The folder where R is currently searching, when you type in a command like this, read CSV or read Excel, is called the working directory. So now if I want to display my current working directory, I can just type in the command get and then wd. And uh, this will return my current working directory. So I c as you can see, my current working directory is the desktop. I can also display with the command dir, so dir, an opening bracket and a closing bracket, all the files that are stored in this working directory. So here you can see all the files that are stored in there. And as you can also see, there is no NBA data file stored in my current working directory. That's why there is uh, an error message returned here if I want to load a data file called NBA. Now let's look in which folder this file is actually stored in. So I've opened up here my Windows Explorer to my current working directory, so the desktop. And uh, I have stored the NBA data file not directly on my desktop, but in a folder called data right here. So as you can see, if I open this up, there is this data file stored. And now to load this data into R, I must change my working directory in R to this folder, so to this data folder. So how do I do this? I do this by typing the command set and then WD, so set working directory. Then an opening bracket and then in parentheses the path that leads to this folder I just displayed, so this data folder. And to do this in the Windows Explorer there's a neat trick, I'm sure uh, if you have a Mac, this works very similarly. You can go here on the top to this to this bar and then click on it and then the path is displayed automatically. So with uh, Control c you can copy it and then just paste it here into our studio. Now you have to be careful, you have to change all the backslash to normal slash. So I do this really quickly. If the backslash are kept, then this will return an error message, but now it should work. And now I've set my working directory to the data folder. And now also the command uh, read underscore Excel and then my data file MBA should not return an error message anymore. So let's try it out. And it actually works. So great. Yeah, that's how you change the working directory. Um, um, there's also another trick you can do um, you can go here to session on the very top and then go to set working directory and then go to choose working directory and then you can manually choose your folder on your Windows computer and this also works uh, similarly for the Mac. Um, and also what you might want to do, you want to change your default working directory. So that's the working directory you start off with when you open up RStudio. And this you can do with tools and then global options and then here when you go to browse, you can there change your default working directory manually. Um, as you can see at the moment, mine is set to desktop, um, as I've already mentioned. Yeah, I hope this will help you load data into R. 
Feel free to also check uh, out the other videos I did in this series, um, loading data into R. It would mean a lot to me if you would leave a like and a subscription. This will also keep me motivated to make more content, as then I know that there is an audience interested in these kinds of videos. Please also comment with feedback and recommendations for future videos. Other than that, see you soon and take care. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos in the future. If you would like to support this channel financially, there is a donation link in the description.